if i am brahman why do i who is already brahman need to find out that i am brahman who is this i if i am brahman why do i who is already brahman see there's a fallacy in this you are right you are already brahman but it is why do i who is already brahman need to find out that i am brahman who is this i the i in the real context is the brahman but the i here is a questioner who has information about brahman like you may have information about uh, the new variant which has come up omni ron i don't know what is now some new name has come up you may have information about the new variant you will have information about expo 2020 you have information about brahman okay it is a piece of information we have it is not yet a conscious experience brahman when we say even though we say the either i am brahman if i am brahman why do i who is already brahman need to find out that i am brahman see who is this i the individual god plus desires is the individual the human being human being minus desires is brahman so when will you know that i am brahman not as a human being when the desires in you are eradicated that is when you know that you are that right now that's why i'm saying na it is a, a simple equation god plus desires is ramya ji ramya ji minus desires is krishna ji okay so you know that there, there's this beautiful uh, statement right spirituality is a journey from where you are to a place where you have always been and to know it for the first time <laughs> when i read it for the first time right, it was like it will it get it got ingrained in my memory i repeat spirituality is a journey from where you are now to a place where you have always been and the last one is the best and to know it for the first time <laughs> see to understand this itself they should have some subtle intellect and there is what is these fellows blabbering <laughs> they will say so that's why the from wherever you are now where are you going to a place where you have always been and that is, and you know it for the first time <laughs> it is so once you once you get there to know it for the first time you see from that standpoint even a person in the worldly affairs they don't get perturbed by them that's the reason one of the qualities of a, a nyani is one who a bhakta also na, one who does not get affected by the world and one who does not disturb the world <laughs> so it's a fascinating uh, you know but it's a good question see there was this uh, she is right screenplay and all so well ramya ji for a while she has not written her stories and all are fascinating so i am trying to give a story to her huh? ramya ji tirupati ke laddam kekringla so it there is the a story of a, a beggar in a in a town in a small in a town and he was every day in the evening he used to beg and that is how he was surviving and the king or the ruler of that state had hadn't have any children and he had a child in a very young age was washed away in a in a in a in a torrential uh, rainfall so they could never find out where who his son was so there were some uh, marks and uh, certain uh, uh, signs of the child who was lost and the king who was uh, in aging he said look here these are the indicators of the lost child and the son he told his ministers it's your duty to go and find him out and they searched and searched and searched and finally the the, the guy who's heading the search the when you're sitting this the beggar comes and and asks for some asks for arms to this guy and uh, he he literally kicks him and when he falls down he sees certain birth marks and other 
uh, you know, suggestions given by the king. And then, you know, he, they take him, they, 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 instantly this guy takes the beggar and the beggar is perturbed. What happened? What happened? You know, you know, if you can't give, it's fine. He literally pleads. No, no, no. He says, you come with me. And they do a complete search, complete check. And they find out that he is the, the lost son of the king. And he is crowned as the, you know, he, later he is crowned as the, the, the prince. And then he lives a beautiful life and he has this thought. Every day he used to, you know, he used to be a beggar you know, seeking arms there. So now he goes back to the same street where he was begging. He goes back, puts on those old kind of clothes or the beggar's clothes. He goes there and then he begs and some people give him a little bit and others. Again, I thought you are away for last six months and again you came back and they shout at him, scream at him. And then you know, he, whatever, you know, he takes it. The only difference was before also he was the king. He was the king. He was the, the prince, but he was not aware that he was a prince. So there was turmoil, there was difficulty. Now, he knows that it is the prince. He is the prince. He is not at all affected. <laughs> Whatever is given or not given, he is not affected. The lack of his true identity went through a turmoil. Now, he knows who he is in essential. In uh, there, is no, there is no turmoil, there is no difficulty here. He goes through it gracefully and you know, he knows that in half an hour's time, one hour's time, he's going to change his attire and go. No affectation at all. No affectation at all. That's the difference between, in fact, these masters highlighted that we are like the beggar in the world, not knowing who we are and begging for arms. Once you get to you know who you are essentially, you are the king. And dealing with the world is like, like, Putting on your beggar's clothes and dealing with the world. It's just nothing. You know, some people praise you, some people denounce you. No affectation at all. No affectation at all. Because you know who you are essentially. Think about it. But it's a good question. Next, again Ramyaji. Can you please explain the Purusha aspect of Brahman and the difference between the two? If this was reference to, I think, verse 22 of uh, chapter 13 which we are dealing. The previous one also is a reference to the Bhagavad Gita. Can you please explain the Purusha aspect of Brahman and the difference between the two? Purusha in this context is reference to Atman, the self, the, the God principle in the individual. Purusha is the reference of the God principle, the Atman in an individual. Brahman is a, is a collective term used for the Brahman with the, the God principle pervading everywhere. Generally, the Atman is a reference to the Purusha, to the individual. The divinity in you is Atman. The divinity pervading everywhere is Brahman. That's why there's a you know, this Atman is Brahman, they say. So, in that way, that is the reference here. The, 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 that is the reference of Purusha. And then the next question is, why is male God referred to as Purusha? I don't know where you got it. it is. Yes, generally it is written. It is not the male God, Ramyaji. It is the masculine quality in a person which makes them explorative. It is a masculine quality in an individual. Could be a male or a female. They only highlighted the quality, not the gender here. But generally we <laughs> equate it to to a gender, Purushan means a husband. That's why many aspects you talk in a samsar or pur- samsar means wife, Purusha means husband. It's a general understanding, not it is not wrong, but it is not complete. That's all. It is a with the the male when a Purusha referred to as a male god is more a reference of a explorative quality in a sincere seeker. Let's say it could be a, it could be a, Bhakta Meera was, a, you know, was very explorative. She attained that oneness with divinity. So, they, so it is a, see, generally it is the male who is explorative. They go find food and then get them home. They, they create wealth for the well-being of the family. They are explorative. They try, they, they are willing to go through the grind. It is a, 
it is a masculine quality there are many men who have a very feminine quality so and there are many women who have a very masculine quality he ah uh. can i interrupt yes yeah uh, this is purushas referred to as enjoyer in bhagavad gita uh. so i got it out mm-hmm. why others should be enjoyed and only purusha the male should be the enjoyer that's my question yeah see Maybe the it came. right it, and again an enjoyer or you know it is you know it is not the gender it is not the male that is what i'm saying no it is a uh, it is the masculine quality see once you understand the uh, this masculine quality in an individual makes them see the masculine quality was required to gain that oneness with divinity for moksha a feminine quality is what it, you know they are they are get they get attached to objects and things they are very emotional they go through fluctuations it keeps them rooted in the world it is not a female who is like that it is a feminine quality in an individual the masculine quality in individual so in the in the this purusha is an enjoyer see in that if you take the verse 23 it is in a, it is uh, uh, different gradations in their experience there's a different gradation at one time is enjoyer at one time is the supreme lord so you know he he enjoys the next time is the supreme lord is the, so in that way there's a gradation in their in their uh, experience or that is how divinity reveals to them so that's the thing it, it is uh, that's why na in the in the present con- that's a mira bai in the present context there are many women prime ministers who are leading the country very well especially during the pandemic they said many of the the countries which are led by women have done well like new zealand finland and uh, angela merkel in in germany she uh, supposed to have done a great job at the time someone else has taken over uh, so the general notion once you understand that it's a masculine quality it is a uh, the the uh, a purusha we need to get to that see to to get to this for this atman to become one with brahman that explorative that willingness to go through the grind is a masculine quality it is a uh, it is uh, to get attached to get uh, emotional is a is a feminine quality it is not gender it is not a they say f- the feminine females are are they are more easily prone to being attached that's all they are more prone to get attached but that doesn't mean it's a it is all females are like that just a yeah, the thing and when when with the reference is enjoyer it is not the purusha is not it is, it is how divinity reveals itself at that stage again it is never a gender uh, in a biased so i hope you are okay ramya ji yeah 